Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing The Witcher 3 on the GeForce GTX 1060 3GB for FPS monitoring. I'll be using Cam. If you want to download the software, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to support me, there are Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. So The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip to not those sections of the video, check the description below. First of all, the G4560, I'll show you my 60fps target for 1080p. That means that it will be with pretty high settings. A mix between high and ultra. I just lowered the full EHP visibility range, the grass density, and I lowered the ambient occlusion from HBAO Plus to SSAO. And first of all, I'll show you Novigrad, which is one of the most CPU intensive places in the whole game. And there you will see that the G4560 can drop as low as the mid 40s. It's mostly very close to the center of the city, still totally playable. And then I go to the forest to fight some ghouls, and that will be more GPU intensive since I'll be using fire attacks and all that kind of stuff, which hammers the GPU quite a lot more than the city. And that will be pretty much the testing methodology for the whole video. But after the G4560, I show you 1080p, 1440p and 4K by using the Ryzen 3 1200 with a 3.9 GHz overclock. And you'll see with that CPU that is more stable on Novigrad. It drops quite less and you get less stutters on Novigrad, so that's something to keep in mind. But in the forest area fighting the ghouls, it's not really that much of a difference because there we are GPU bound. After 1080p I'd show you 1440p trying to get 60 frames per second, which isn't that difficult if you lower the settings close to medium. And after that I just crank up the settings at 1440p to show you the frame rate we get. And finally at 4K I just overclocked the GTX 1060. You can see the core and memory clocks down in the description. And well so far I used pretty much high settings and I disabled Amin occlusion. And that was enough to be pretty much over 30 frames per second on Novigrad. But once you get into the GPU bound area of the forest, and start using fire attacks and all that kind of stuff. The game can drop as low as 27 FPS, so I recommend lowering a couple extra settings if that bothers you. But personally, I prefer to play this one at 1080p or 1440p as a maximum because it feels smoother to play, but that's just my opinion. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Gotta find me some work. Nice day. What do you seek, pain giver? Ooh. In a hurry. Ooh. Go, go. 
Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. Got to find me some work. Fasty, eh? Hey. Ooh, give me yours. What do you seek, pain giver? Ah! Gotta find me some work. Long live Robin! Uh. What's the rush? What do you seek, pain giver? Oh. Uh. Who do you think you are? Look at that, just look. I'll buy tomorrow what you can buy today. Tell the fire, keep me safe. Okay. Not a headache again. Choked to death on three pounds of steam.
Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. Being a priest, now that's a soft gig. That's the end. Shoot me calls. Come on. Ah. 